Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and Kitizen. And my most favorite thing to source and list are kids' shoes. And they are actually what got me back into the reselling world. Uh, mini Melissa's, it's just, they're close to my heart. But I sold many, many, many moons ago on eBay. And I, I'm like walking my way back towards maybe cross posting over there as well. But this is my part-time gig that makes me happy. eBay doesn't really make me happy, so therefore it's on the back burner. So today I have not one, there are two kids mystery shoe boxes. Now, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that sometimes these are awesome, sometimes they are not, but I can honestly say that I've never lost money because my local Once Upon a Child will always take shoes even if they're not in the best condition. So, you guys like my shirt today. I don't know if I've worn this one. Professional binge watcher of YouTube. <laughs> So one of these shoe boxes has been sitting in my office since the last time ThreadUp did a random sale on rescue boxes, which does not happen often. However, they just did it again last week. Maybe it was last week. They were 15% off. Oh, I'm looking extra for y'all today. I call these my friends when they just kind of stick out. Oh my gosh. I'm not here for y'all. I'm not doing makeup tutorials. So anywho, this box is usually $48 for 10 pairs, but because it's under their free shipping threshold, you have to pay taxes and shipping. So this box with the discount was $40.80, but with the tax and shipping, it made it $49.83, which is still cheaper than what the typical price. So that's making my cost of goods $4.98. I have not looked in the boxes yet, so that's considering they sent me 10 pairs. Every now and then they'll send me 11, but it's usually because they've also sent me some junk. So. We'll see. All right, let's dig in. This box came from Suwannee, Georgia. Not my most favorite place on the planet, so. All right. Let's see. Here is a first look. I see a boot on top. Now, you guys know I do buy these to resell, but my hope is that I always have a pair or two. I My kids have more shoes and they know what to do with, but I love it. It's kind of like I've never bought a pair of shoes for my kids once I started reselling because it's just a revolving door. These are some Michael Kors boots. They are definitely in used condition. They are all man-made materials and they are a toddler, toddler, youth size two, which is my daughter's size. So I will probably just let her have these because the toes are all beat up, which she's gonna help that cause also. I don't, I, some, someone said that these are put on the items that they actually listed, but I don't think ThreadUp would have ever listed these because they're pretty bad. All right, these are cute. I sold a pair similar to these just today. These are Stuart Weitzman. They are just some gold ballet flats with a cute little rhinestone embellished bow. They originally did come from Ross. So I need to clean the, the insides because obviously they weren't worn with socks, but to be honest, they look like they were maybe worn once, maybe for like a Christmas program or something. And I have sold a couple pairs of gold shoes, kids shoes this week. Christmas programs are starting to come up and people are thinking about what their kids are gonna wear. So definitely get your gold items listed. All right, I see another layer. Looks like some junk, but I see one promising there. These are some Old Navy flip-flops. I've actually never seen this style. It's usually that super cheapy kind, but these have a cute little flamingo. They are also a youth size two. So these are definitely not really worth listing, but they are my daughter's size. We live in Florida. Uh, we'll probably toss those in her room. We, I always make them wear shoes outside because we've got construction going on. So if I don't put a pair by every door for my own self, I'm always the one caught out there with no shoes. So can't yell at my kids. All right, another pair, these are Michael Michael Kors. These are also a youth size one. They definitely have some discoloring on them. I'll probably just wipe these down with a cloth and these will go in my once upon a child bin. They are not worth, they're definitely a list. You guys have watched me enough, maybe if you're new, hi, to know which kids brands are worth listing. We're talking the Keens, the Natives, the Mini Melissa's, the Chacos, the Doc Martens, and of course some sneakers. Speaking of sneakers, I love this style. These are a youth size four. My son has enough shoes right now. I'm actually kind of making him wear bigger fives. He could squeeze into these, but I'm gonna list these. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but they are in pretty great condition. 
And I like this style because they're not as heavy, so they might still be first class. The problem with kids' shoes is after size one, they start becoming a little bit heavy. These I are, are gonna go right to the Once Upon a Child bin. They are a Carter's little pair of sandals. They are, they're in brand new condition, so I know they'll buy them. They'll just give me a couple cents. These are just another pair of junk um, little baby. They don't they say size 11, but they're like a newborn size. So nothing to talk about. Hopefully they gave me those two for one, but my one fun of child will take those. These are some Goranimals, which is Walmart, little boots. Again, a no brainer for my once upon a child. So, you know, the hope is they price their shoes so low there. I spend like two to $5 on natives, for example. So I'll trade in these three pairs and be able to get one pair of natives because I also get a discount by trading in. So that's why I don't mind getting some stuff that I'm not going to lift online. All right, these are Cat and Jack. These are some really cute little camo sneakers. I've got a load of laundry to do. I'll just toss these in and they will also go to buy, sell, trade. So out of this box, I'm gonna list the Stuart Weitzman's. Actually, there's one more pair. Let me not get ahead of myself. I saved the best for last because I saw them sticking out. Chacos, we love Chacos. It's definitely not the season right now. These are size youth three. I got a pair of mixed match size Chacos recently. I did end up selling them though and ThreadUp did refund me for them. That was a story. Um, so they're in pretty great shape. These also can go through the washing machine, which I love, but these always will sell for around 40 bucks. So that's great. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Well, they only sent me 10 pairs, but what did I tell you, $49? I will make that up probably just selling um, the Chacos and one other pair. Plus I've got one more to list, two pairs to keep for my kids and three pairs actually. And then like six pairs to trade in. So for me, that box was a win. For a reseller with no kids and with no interest in going to local buy, sell, trade stores or if you don't have any near you, this might not be the best box selection for you. But for me, my business model, it works because once upon a child is where I, I make a lot of money sourcing there. All right, but we've got one more box. This one is from Swanee, Georgia as well. Shocker. So remember, I've got about four, about $5 in each pair. Okay, well this one looks a little bit better off the top. We have my other, I did not mention this brand, but you will always make at least 20 bucks selling kids Crocs. A solid pickup. These have definitely been worn, but they will still sell. These are youth size three, just some croc band style crocs. Let me keep them here so I can easily count them. These are some hot pink Asics sneakers. They are a girl's size two and a half. I need to look in my daughter's room because she's in a two right now, not quite a three. So two and a half might be great for her for a pair of sneakers for school. So. To me, spending 50 bucks, I mean, I'm obviously gonna get way more than one pairs, but that's what you would spend to buy a pair of sneakers. It's crazy, not this mama. So those I might actually keep. These are cute. These look to be in a really great condition. These are Levi's, some little lace-up sneakers. They have the, the tongue looks like the tag on the jeans. They are a little kid size one. I will list these. second layer some more I don't like to see the little baby shoes but once upon a child I'll take them use some little jamboree tiny things not much to say about that these are gap but the thing is these are from gap these are they're very cute the little Birkenstock one of these what size are these six to nine or six to twelve months zero to three months so yeah they're not the same size I was gonna say if they were the same size I might list them look how tiny these ones are oh my gosh they're like the size of my finger. Um, anyway, these probably cost at least 20 bucks brand new at the store. It's crazy, but they won't resell for that much, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Now these I might look up. These are Pita Ped, which means they are leather. They're a good quality little shoe. These are tiny, but little feet need shoes too. Sometimes they're walking. Oh, construction. These are a size six to 12 months, all leather, upper lining, and shoe. 
So, you know, I might actually list the Pita Peds and the Gaps shoes together. We'll see. But I might take these to Once Upon a Child just because they're tiny. Same as these. These are the Old Navy sandals that we all know. Um, these will only retail for $3.94. Those will get traded in. These are cute. These are tiny, but the brand is M-I-B-O. And I'm going to look these up because they have the logo on the outside as well. So they, mean, they look handmade to me. It says uh, something about being leather and they're size 16. But they still have the a little plastic piece in here, paper piece. So these are cute. So I don't know. I will look into those because sometimes those little moccasin type shoes are worth money. Another size two kids boots. Let's see. These actually are in much better condition than the ones in the other box. They definitely show a little heel wear, but these are cute. They've got a little tie on the back. They zip up the side. What are you? Size two, man-made materials. Do they have a brand? I see no brand. So, I don't know. I will probably actually take these to buy, sell, trade because they're in great condition and have a size on them and I'll let my daughter keep the ones that are more beat up. That sounds like a plan so I can get me something better to sell. All right, these are nice. They are Adidas. These are size three and a half youth, but these will definitely sell. They're like a iridescent holograph, great condition. So probably the best thing so far in this box. I mean, I did get Crocs, so that's good. And there's one pair left. These are Skechers. Skechers surprisingly sell pretty well. So I will probably list these myself. They are a toddler size 10. They're really cute. I might just toss them in the washer just to get the dirt off the bottoms. I always wash shoes, even if I have to hand wash them. Some people don't. I enjoy cleaning shoes and I never would wanna send someone else the playground dirt from my house or from wherever. So that's just me. I don't like to buy shoes that arrive with dirt. One time I bought a pair of mini Melissa's and I the bag, they did put them in a clear bag, which was nice, but it was filled with sand like from the beach. I'm like, that's great, hook head on your, on your vacation. I would have liked to go, but. All right, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, they're being stingy these days. And most of my boxes I get 11, but only 10 again. Overall, these two are not my best boxes, but they're not terrible. And so what I think I'm going to do, I would love for you to stay tuned. Well, like two seconds away, I will clip it in for you. But I'm going to go to Once Upon a Child, and I'm going to take all of the shoes from these two boxes and see how much I can get and what I can trade for and just kind of show you what I mean when I say it's cool to be, to not, I don't get disappointed anymore when I get the junky ones because I know I'm going to get something better out of it. And I didn't have to go source for these things. They just came to my house. So stay tuned. I'll be right back and let's see what I was able to trade for. All right, guys, welcome back. It has been a few days now since I unboxed these shoe boxes. I did make a trip to Once Upon a Child today. I have three or four locally that I like to frequent, all for different reasons. The one I went to today, I took those shoes I showed you. I also cleaned out all of our board games. I had a huge Rubbermaid tote full, some various other toys. They basically always accept toys. And I knew that this location, they tend to price up their shoes but they, I always find great deals on clothing. So while I said I was going to take the credit and show you shoes to resell, I did get a few. I'm also gonna show you a few pieces of clothing that are just really awesome kids brands to look out for. Now, I did buy two pairs of shoes, but for my own kids. So these are brand new Sea Kai Run. I list the, this brand, they always sell within a week. Uh, these are my daughter's next size. I paid $16. These are about $45 on their website. So this was a great price for me. We will get use out of them and then I will resell them and probably recoup almost all of that. Same for these. These are so cool. These are my older daughter's neck size. Like what were the chances that I found two pairs in new condition, also $16. So I just wanted, I know I've talked about this brand, but Sea Kai Run, make sure when you look inside, it does not say the word basics. 
those are the ones sold at Target. You're not going to get as much for those. All right. So they start off by saying they took every pair of shoe as in the beginning, if it said BST by sell trade, they bought every pair of them. Now, because I did take them two big totes full of things, I don't know exactly how much they gave me for those shoes. They bought 85 items from me today. I always have a revolving tote. And if you watch my channel, you know, I've recently purchased some of the kids bulk boxes. So I had a lot. I averaged about $2 and 15 cents. If I took what they gave me the hundred and something dollars divided by the 85. So let's just say that I earned back half of what I actually paid, but it's still to me, I ended up paying, I think $5 for all of this stuff out of my own pocket. And I'm not going to even show you half of this stuff that I got for my own kids. I found some great Christmas things for all the activities we have coming up. Also some Christmas presents. If you are looking for Christmas presents for your kids, go there. I got some brand new in the package items that when I would search on Amazon or Target, double the price. So swing by once upon a child. Okay. Pajamas. Kids pajamas, believe it or not, are something that mamas are willing to pay up for, especially if the brand is right. Hannah Anderson, that is definitely a go. Now they had several, but they were faded and I didn't want to pay over $4. This is Mini Bowden. Great brand for pajamas. These are so cute. They have like little flower, like baking utensils. These are a size three. This was a great find. Also this Mini Bowden, their newer tag, and it's strawberries. It has little strawberry shorts under it. And this one I'm probably going to keep for my daughter and then the other daughter. Um, but still, if you've learned anything from me, if you have children or grandchildren and, and they give you their items back to resell, to me, it is worth paying for these different higher end brands and not even paying up if you're going to secondhand stores or finding at the thrift because you're going to recoup all of your money. Like this skirt, I paid seven dollars for I also had a 15% off coupon so whatever that math is but I'm going to be able to have two kids wear this and still make back my money and then profit whereas if I'd gone to Target Target is, and Walmart a skirt is probably at least 10 15 dollars if not more you're the resale value just isn't there so this is another a great one this is happy by pink chicken if you Pink chicken, that will stick in your head because it's a really random thing. This is a really cute little baby dress. This is Paint by Numbers, a Matilda Jane line. A really cute little apron dress. This, always be on the lookout for this tag, the Disney Parks tag. This is a little girl's spirit jersey. You guys, this was probably $55 in the park. The adult versions are like 69 and 79 usually and this is a kid's extra extra small so I'm going to have my this I think it's a crop um I'm gonna have her wear it once and we'll see if I get it listed in time for this Christmas if not I just loved it and it was 650 plus 15 percent off so I would have bought this even if it was not my kid's size to flip which is why I'm showing it to you another brand you may or may not find but Things like this tend to stick in my mind. Maybe it will yours. The brand is KP. It's along the lines of Persnickety, Matilda Jane, and the like. It's just a little dress. They do always have their brand on the bottom hem as well. Eleanor Rose is another one. This was fun to find. I first saw Marshall's tag and they had this priced at $8 minus my 15% off. But then I noticed not only was it mini Bowden, but it still had the Bowden tag on it. Skirts are not everyone's favorite thing to sell, but my little girls recently have decided to start wearing skirts. I am going to get this one listed because it is Christmas themed. It's really nice fleece material, but I was willing to pay up a little bit for this being that it's brand new with the tag. This is another pink chicken dress, girl size 10. It is a Christmas dress. I will list this one. Today is December the 3rd, so I've got time to still get some Christmas things listed. Oh, sorry about the light we have French doors with the blinds and them being installed very soon. So that's going to change my, my video background. Thank goodness. Anyway, girl size 10, this will fit my daughter next Christmas. So if it doesn't sell, I will not be sad about it. Now I did say this store prices up their shoes, uh, but it is what it is. Like if you lived in my area and you were like, Hey, I want to go get my kids some really cute shoes. I would send you to that location. Um, they had so many pairs of mini Melissa's for 12 to $15, which is fantastic. Not really for flipping. So funny about these shoes. 
This is now the third time I have had these shoes and I picked these up today and a pair I had in my shop on Poshmark sold today. The exact shoes, only two sizes bigger. This is Hot Chocolate Designs. Their shoes are not cheap. They sell adult shoes. These are the mini Chocolitas and the other ones are just Chocolitas. <laughs> and these, they did not have priced up. These are some natives. You guys know that we uh, talk about native a lot on my channel. These are a graphic one, a Little Miss Sunshine. I've never sold this one before, so I had to have it. And then one more, Sea Kai Run. These, I did pay up. I did pay the $14 they wanted. I had a 15% off coupon. And um, I think this was the most expensive item I got, uh, well, along with the other ones. They did give me one 20% off one item coupon also. But these are brand new. And the reason I paid up for these is because it's Christmas time and they're red and then Valentine's Day is coming. I know that I will still make a solid profit on these, even though I paid up. So this brand, I was just telling my husband, I was looking through my sales the last several months. Sea Kai Run is, is like one of my top maybe three brands as far as profit and how fast they flip, even the condition. And then one more pair of shoes. I did find a pair of bogs. I need to clean them up, but it's rare to find bogs down here where there is no snow or really cold weather. And just an example, I didn't realize I still had this in here. I have to be quiet. So this is still in the Target wrapping. This came from Target. It is the our generation. It, uh, my girls are both really into their American Girl dolls right now. So this goes on the back of the bike and you, it, I paid eight, they had it marked at $8 and 50 cents plus 15% off. And this is um, like 10, 11, 10.99, 11.99, something like that. So it was only a few dollars off savings, but it's brand new and a couple dollars savings adds up. So I was able to pick that up and then I got them this, um, even though they are, how old are they? Five and seven, they're really into playing pretend and make believe and I am here for it and I will embrace it. And they like playing kitchen and like serving each other. So this is a, they have always have a lot of Melissa and Doug items. So this is, so they can make me some fake drinks. So, um, oh, sorry about that. I did pick up a couple other things. I will show you just a few of them. Like I got two Christmas shirts for my son, but again, I didn't, I made sure I found Disney Parks official so that when I go to resell them, it's going to bring me way more than if I just bought, say, the Disney Jumping Beans from Kohl's or the Walmart versions. And then our store had a lot of Vineyard Vines. My kids love wearing these kind of t-shirts because it doesn't really get cold. I mean, it gets, it gets cold for me, okay? You see I'm wearing a sweatshirt today because it was 65 when we left the house. That's freezing in my world. But anyway, they have these, they mark these at $8.50 and that is a great price. And I, my kids just love them. And the other, I got a couple, there's a one for my son. This is another brand that actually sells pretty well. I don't, we find this a lot. I do live in the South. The brand is Simply Southern, um, but I picked them up a couple of these too. So when I am sourcing for items to resell and for my own kids, I am sourcing brands. This is also Simply Southern that I know when I, when they outgrow them, I can resell them for way more than just buying other brands. So, so cute. And they're all in brand new condition. So we definitely got some. Some fun stuff today. Oh, and I got my son another shacket because he has decided he doesn't like zippers touching his skin. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. So while these two unboxings were not my most favorite kids' shoes, I got some great things. You see one pair has already sold by the time I am filming the second half. And I just, the ones that say listed, I just cross-posted those other pairs from Kittizen this morning so today so i really didn't give them a chance to sell before getting this video out but you can check out my closets and follow along and see what's sold and i thank you guys so much for watching this still will is still stands to be one of my favorite boxes from thread up maybe it's because i have three kids i have a weird obsession with kids shoes but i love it will i order it again absolutely all right guys until next time give this video a like on the way out if you stayed with me all the way to the end drop me a comment i appreciate you guys so so much thank you for helping me to embrace my hobby and things that bring me joy during this year it's been wonderful all right guys bye